Studios. Welcome to LumaFusion, a mobile nonlinear editing app for iPhones and iPads created by LumaTouch. LumaFusion allows you to edit and create your video all in one device. Like any app, we need to learn the basics. Let's start with an overview of how to get our footage into the timeline and start editing. In this video, we are going to go over basic editing and the timeline overview in LumaFusion. First, go out and shoot five 30 second clips in your camera app. We will use these for the purpose of this tutorial. Set up a new project. For the first time starting LumaFusion, tap the Create Project button. Name your project. Select your frame rate from the pull-down menu. You want to match your project frame rate to the frame rate of the video you shot. For the purpose of this tutorial, use 30 frames. Select Frame Aspect from the pull-down menu. You have a variety of options from traditional to portrait, one by one square, etc. For the purpose of these tutorials, use the default 16 by nine landscape. Tap Create Project. Tap the Libraries button. This brings up library sources. There are a variety of sources to use in your project, including an Add Edit Sources button, such as Music or Frame I.O. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use videos created from the camera app. In the next lesson, we will show you how to link other camera sources like Filmic Pro folders. Tap the Photos button. Media Inspector opens. There are multiple ways to get your clips on the timeline. Here are two examples. First, tap the clip. The clip is shown in the preview window. Tap the Send to Timeline button, which is the third button from the right. Repeat this step four times for the remainder of your clips. Here's another example of how to get clips on your timeline. Second, under the Media Inspector window, or the Source Preview or Clip Preview, tap the Multi-Select button, which is the first button on the left. Tap the five clips in the order you want them on your timeline. The clips will have a blue box around them, with the blue circle and number inside in the order you selected them. Tap the Send to Timeline button. The clips, in the order you selected them, are on your timeline. All of your clips are on the main track of your timeline. Timeline Gestures To see your full timeline, double tap in Timeline. To see your previous view, double tap in Timeline again. Pinch in or out to zoom the timeline. Tap and scroll to move around the timeline. Tap on a clip to select it. Tap on the clip again or on the timeline to deselect the clip. Controls and editing. The playhead is a blue bar that runs vertical in your timeline. Select the first clip. Pinch the timeline out to expand the clip view. There will be white arrows inside the edges of the clip. These are the clip handles. Move the handles in and out to edit the clip in the timeline. Tap the next clip. Underneath the timeline is the timeline toolbar. Inside the timeline toolbar is a scissors icon. That is your split clips button. Scroll to the halfway point of the clip. Tap the split clips button. The clip is now split in half. Select the first part of the clip and trim to where you'd like. You can select and cut around parts of the clip you don't want, then select the clip and tap the remove button or the trash can. If you don't like the cut or edit you made, tap the undo and redo buttons on the right hand side underneath the viewer. Continue to select and trim for the remainder of the clips. To play your clip or project, tap the play button. To move forward or backward to a clip, tap the jump back or jump forward button. Double tap either button to move to the beginning or end of the project. Congratulations! You have made the first cut of your video. You are on your way to becoming a mobile filmmaker. Conclusion. With any editing software, there are multiple workflows to edit and get your clips to your timeline. What we showed you is a quick way to get your first cut down. In future videos, we will show you some of the advanced features of LumaFusion. For now, continue to experiment, create, and most importantly, have fun.